So let's talk about JSX. JSX is going to be React's templating language. You're going to use it in every React app that you build. And JSX is a very interesting thing because I feel that JSX is kind of the dividing factor when somebody jumps into learning React. JSX does look a little weird to begin with, but really, doesn't every templating language look a little weird when we jump into them? Vue has directives, Angular has the same kind of directives, and any kind of templating language is gonna look weird until you learn the ins and outs of it. In this video, we will be talking about the basics of JavaScript and In this video, we'll be talking about the basics of JSX and kind of why you would want to use it and showing that it isn't as scary as it may seem at first. To get us started, we're going to create a JSX element. Just like in HTML, we have an HTML element over here in our code pen. We're going to create const my element is equal to div I am an element. Okay, so we have this element here. And you may be surprised, you've just written your first line of JSX. This right here is a JSX element and we are binding it to this variable called my element. Now the cool thing about JSX is that it is just JavaScript. If we look at our compiled JavaScript, we are using Babel as our transpiler so we can actually take this JSX code convert it to something that browsers can read. Let's take a look at exactly what that looks like. We're going to hit this drop down. We're going to hit view compiled JavaScript. And now we have React, which is the global React library we're pulling from. There's a method on there called create element. It creates a div and it has the text content here. Let's go back. And this is so much easier to write than having to write the actual JavaScript so that React can render this element. This is kind of one of the benefits of JSX. We're writing far less code than we would have written if we tried to try to template this ourselves. Okay, so let's render this into our browser. We're gonna say react dom dot render. We're gonna say div, and we're gonna put in my element div document dot get element by ID root. What we're saying is we're going to take this JSX element, we're going to put it here using a single bracket. And we'll talk about that in just a second. Document dot get element by ID is, is where we want to dump everything right here. And now in our browser preview right here, we have I am an element. Now JSX is this is a now this right here is a JSX element using a bracket, a single curly bracket, and closing that single curly bracket is a way for JSX to say, okay, everything inside of this, I will evaluate as JavaScript. And to prove that to you, we're gonna create a new const called message is equal to my message. And then down here, we're gonna say message. And therefore, I am an my message. Let's change that out so it doesn't look so weird. Look, I'm a message. There we go. So everything that JSX did, it said, hey, everything inside of this curly bracket needs to be evaluated as JavaScript. And JavaScript says, okay, this is a variable. Let's go look for that variable right here. Let's take the value of that variable and let's dump it right into here. We can even do something like, oh, well, let's delete this whole thing. Adding, and we can say three plus four. And inside of that, JSX will say, okay, this is JavaScript because it's inside of those curly brackets. Here is seven. Let's undo that. Let's take a look at our view compiled JS and look at all the code that we didn't have to write thanks to JSX. Now it doesn't look too bad. And I am a firm believer that if you learn JSX and you work with JSX more, you will become a better JavaScript developer. And that's because JSX 
is just JavaScript, really. We're writing J we're writing we're writing JavaScript that looks a little weird, but it is just JavaScript and it compiles down to JavaScript. Let's talk about classes and styles. We can actually add a class here, class name. Now there's a gotcha in React and JSX. When you want to add a class, you actually have to write class name. And we'll talk about that in a future lesson. But right now we're going to say card. And this is going to get a class of card. We don't do anything with it really, but we just want to see that it's there. And this is the code that JSX is going to compile to. If we want to add styles, we would say style is equal to and we're going to open up curly brackets because we want JSX to actually look at this and say, okay, something in here is going to be evaluated with JavaScript. And since it's JavaScript, this is a little different than HTML styles. We're going to pass in an object and say color is red. And now the color of that is red. So this is a little bit of a weird syntax for classes and styles. We have a lesson coming up that is talking just on classes and styles. Let's talk a little bit further. This is just using a variable here and an element here for JSX, and then we're just outputting that to our browser. Let's take this step up and take an actual React component. And we're going to say function app return, and let's say div I am an app. OK, so now we can go down here. We can say app. Let's say we had a, an object here. Let's go with const person is equal to name is Chris. And let's go for Twitter handle. Handle is Chris on code. Now we can say something like this, my name is person.name. If I could type person.name and my Twitter handle is person.twitter handle. I just can't type today. I'm working on a new keyboard, so bear with me here. Okay, so we have our new app right here. We have our new component, which is called app. We have our app right here, which is rendered out to the browser. We are able to pull the variable called person.name. We're able to pull the variable for person.twitter handle. Let's take a look at what this is compiled down to in JavaScript. OK, so this is a lot of code that we are saving ourselves from writing thanks to JSX and Babel. All in all, when you look at it this way and you look at it in the JSX version, you're writing a lot less code. And JSX, once you get to know the nuances and how it works, you're going to become far more comfortable with it. And I honestly believe you'll become a better JavaScript developer. If you're not sold on JSX just yet, give it a couple lessons. We have a few more lessons on JSX. Every React application you're going to work with is going to use JSX. Just give it a chance, and I think that you may find that it isn't as daunting as you originally thought it might have been.